The fear of death follows the fear of life. Living is scary. Death is terrible. Mobad's death and the national outrage. Ileri Oluwa Oladimeji Oloba, also known as Mobad, was a talented Nigerian artist and songwriter who died recently at the age of 27 under mysterious circumstances. Formerly signed to the Malian record, he was full of life before the circumstances that led to his death obstructed his way. Why is the story and perhaps the cause of his death had many versions, most of which are predominantly hearsay. I wish to caution here that the public must be careful, especially those who peddle rumors about the circumstances that led to his demise. The public had questioned why he was horridly buried, and this has sparked suspicion in many quarters, which led to the police to exhume his body for an autopsy test to determine the cause of death. We must all wait for the scientific evaluation of the body, and these findings should guide public consciousness going forward in the case under reference. There should be no conjecture henceforth as investigation will lead the law enforcement officers to the truth of the matter. It has been said in the past that whilst the disease was alive, he called out certain persons who were after his life. While that is plausible, we must not reach conclusions in a haste. The wait for an autopsy result is therefore critical in this matter, as public suspicion, however strong, cannot take the place of evidence. My drift here is not targeted at exonerating anyone from criminal liability, but to guide the public against misapplication of information and pointing accusing fingers at people indiscriminately, as this can lead to a breakdown of law and order or lawsuits. I would therefore advocate that the police must live up to his name in the case and others to come to ensure that a thorough job is done. The national question right now is whether Mobad will get justice in the hands of the Nigerian police. The public have a low expectation of the police and I think this is a good opportunity for the police force to prove the public wrong by doing a good job to assuage the public from holding views they have held of the police in the past. The family and friends of the late artists to take heart at this very difficult moment of their lives. Why we pray that God in his infinite mercy shall grant the family the fortitude to bear this irreparable loss. Our heart goes to the wife and the son at this moment and all his well-wishers. And we call on the youth to be careful in their dealings with society. They should eschew violence and issues that are related to peer pressure and the rest of it. This is a good time to abstain from anything negative in order for us to collectively build a country of our dream. I shall go to Rabbi again. Thank you.